Coach, we've had a couple of days. Um, do you think it's enough time to turn around perhaps the mentality and the way we played against Eswatini going into this game against Ivory Coast? Yes, yes, I'm sure. And it depends also a little bit of uh, the reaction and mentality of the players. So I, I think they are all conscious that uh, Friday it was a very bad game on, uh, on all levels. Uh, mentality, uh, uh, quality of football, uh, passion, uh, there was nothing. So uh, I think they are conscious uh, about that. We spoke uh, and, and, and I'm sure that uh, tomorrow they will be ready again to, uh, to make a good performance. What is the difference, coach? What is the difference, I guess, when they you know, get to the pitch, how they played, how do you turn that around? How do you... How do you get the best out of the players? Yeah, I, I think it's quite easy to turn that around because in the, in the past they proved and they showed that they can do it in a different way. So uh, the qualities are there. It's not a question of quality. Uh, I think it was more a question of, of mentality and uh, maybe, maybe underestimating uh, the opponent. Uh, we were not ready from the beginning in the game. And, uh, then you have more and more problems against uh, an opponent like this. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rather rather confident now that uh, tomorrow it will be totally different because they know they play against Ivory Coast. So uh, from the beginning already they will be more focused uh, on, on the opponent and on, and on the game than, uh, than Friday. I'm not, agree I'm not agreeing with that because they are professionals, they have to do it uh, every game. And, and, and when you see uh, yesterday evening the other team of South Africa, the passion and, and, and the way they are playing their game, I think we have a lot to learn about them. Yeah, I, I, it was lovely to watch uh, the South African national men's football team take uh, or, or support the rugby team. Um, you also spoke about support, saying if it is that we churn out a result like we did against Swaziland, why would people come and support, you know? Um, you yourself, uh, very uncharacteristic, also watching you in the dugout uh, against Eswatini. Not quite the coach that I know who sits there. It was a very, it was a di very different coach. It was a different, a different co yeah, <laughs> coach. Yeah, because, because I, I was so disappointed to see what I saw on the pitch. Um, we tried to, uh, to, to, to make some corrections first half during the game but uh, uh, it didn't work then uh, I was very angry during, <laughs> during half time uh, we changed three players so we thought okay now uh, it will be uh, another team but uh, it was exactly the same and uh, then you know you can shout you can do what you want you will change uh, anything anymore so um, I think just that we have to learn uh, about that that uh, it's not enough to be on the pitch, it's, uh, it's also a question of mentality and a question of focus and uh, we didn't have it uh, on Friday. It was a long tiring journey to Ivory Coast, happy with what you saw at our first training session yesterday where everybody regrouped for the first time yes. since that draw? Yes, surely it was a more a recovery training yesterday because uh, we travelled on Saturday um, so our players were still a little bit tired, but what is normal. So it was more recovery day, but uh, we did already something uh, on tactical uh, level, uh, how to play against the uh, Ivory Coast uh, tomorrow. And uh, the focus was there, so uh, I felt immediately that uh, also with the, in the team there is a, there is a feeling of, uh, okay guys, it happened Friday, but it can't happen anymore. And uh, that uh, that makes me happy. Um, Ronwin Williams injured when he came into camp with that ankle injury. Seeing him back on the pitch yesterday, does that mean that he starts against uh, Ivory Coast? Yes, there's, uh, there's no doubt. Or there should be happening something uh, tonight on the, the last training. But uh, we play with uh, with uh, Ronwin against in the, in the goal, and that's why we kept him with us because um, we talked with the doctor and. Uh, he promised us that uh, Ronnie would be ready for the game of Tuesday. So, and I think we uh, we made the right choice. Coach, are you confident? Confident in the team? Confident that we've moved on from Eswatini's jaw? 
and confident that we can take on a very strong team if it is that we take a look at their their performance against Morocco. Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, certainly because they are the host, that they are one of the candidates to win AFCON. Uh, There's a very good team with all players who are playing in Europe and in big teams, so uh, uh, you can compare it a little bit with the team of Morocco. So that means that uh, also we have to be on our best level and uh, we show that against those teams uh, a few months ago uh, in Joburg against Morocco that we can do it. So uh, I'm still confident and it's not because of uh, Friday that we play such a bad game that we have to doubt on everything. Uh, the quality is there, it's maybe, it was maybe only a matter of focus and, uh, and mentality and opponents that make us uh, uh, play a game like, uh, like Friday. So uh, I don't think it will happen tomorrow. They will be focused and uh, I think they will be ready to show something. Thank you, coach. Thank you very much.